Welcome to the demonstration on Power over Ethernet, or PoE, on a Ruckus ICX switch. On an ICX switch, even with the PoE type switch, um, PoE is disabled by default on all the switch ports. So that has to be enabled if we want to provide power to devices that uh, require power from the switch port to operate, like IP phones and access points and things like that. So let's go ahead and jump in. So we get into config T, and I'm going to go ahead and just do a range of ports, and we're going to enable power over Ethernet. So we'll do 13 through 24. So the command to turn on PoE is just inline power. And once we do this, we'll see a message come up here because I do have one device connected uh, to port 1113. I have an IP phone connected there. So now that we have a device connected, let's take a look at uh, what we see. And that's done with the show inline power command. So what we see here is we have a total of 370 watts available for devices that are connected in the switch. If I had two power supplies, I'd have more power available. And the power we currently have available is 363 watts or 363,000 milliwatts. And that's because port 113 is consuming 2.7 watts, but it's allocated seven whole watts. And that's based on the, the uh, class. So it's an 8023AF type, and the class is class two, and the class determines that we're gonna allocate seven watts to this port. So uh, the other thing you can see here is that the administrative state of PoE is off on ports 1 through 12 because I didn't enable it on those, but it is on on 13 through 24. So we have it on, and then the operational state is off, of course, for the ports that I didn't enable inline power on anyway, and off for the ports that don't have any devices connected to them at this time. So if we did have more devices, what we'd see is the power consumed by all the devices and the allocated power, and those totals would display down here at the bottom. Okay, so we have a device that's taking inline power. Uh, it's, it's identified itself as a class two device, so we've allocated seven watts to it, or 7,000 milliwatts. So we can actually do some things to change that. So uh, let's take a look at a few commands here. So with inline power, we have a couple of options here, and we're gonna do the power by class option. And with this, we can use a decimal value to define the class and, and set the class, even though it identifies itself as a class two, we can override that. So we can set this to a class one device. So that did that for all of the 12 ports that we have configured for PoE. And now let's take a look at our show inline power. So the output here shows us now that we're only on allocating four watts because four watts is uh, what is given to a class one device. Remember the class two was given seven watts. Uh, so now the, the device is actually consuming a lot more of that power. So we're seeing 3,900 milliwatts out of the 4,000 milliwatts available to it. So uh, we're getting pretty close. This is pretty tight, um, but you know that's okay. We can actually we could actually set this to something even lower, and the switch will will say you're trying to draw too much power and, and shut the device down. So let's let's go ahead and try that. So we can do that again with the the inline power command, and we'll set a power limit. And let's set that limit to something that, that we know will probably break this. Uh, let's just set it to, well, let's see the options. So with that, you can set it in milliwatts, anywhere from 1,000 milliwatts uh, to 15.4 milliwatts for AF and 30,000 milliwatts for AT devices. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. We're going to set it to 2,000. And by setting that, we're, put, we're setting that limit lower than the draw of the device. So now we have PoE disabled on 113 because of an overload from the powered device. So we've just disabled that port. Well, we really don't want that. We want our phone to operate. So let's go ahead and give this some power that it deserves. We can use that same command, but this time we'll set it to something like 6,000. So now our ports are back to a limit of six watts or 6,000 milliwatts. And we see here a message saying that power is back to being enabled on our port because we've given it enough power for the device to operate. 
So now that's another thing. Um, you know, there's a finite amount of power that's applied that's applied to these ports. So let's take a look at the show inline power again. So what we can do for inline power to ensure that maybe certain devices never run out of power if we've drawn too much power from the, that the power supplies can offer. For example, if you have a two power supply switch and one of those power supplies goes down, uh, you have devices that are, are maybe utilizing and needing the power that both of those power supplies provide. You want to make sure that some devices stay powered on at the sacrifice of others. Uh, maybe those would be the IP phones over uh, some other powered device that's on the network or you may want the wireless APs over the phones so you can set some priorities and if you notice here the priority for all of these ports by default is a priority of three so we can give these ports or some ports a better priority for in the event that power is limited and only a few ports can draw power that the ones that are most important will draw it so let's go ahead and use our phone port for an example that's up right here. Uh, let's just say this is the CEO's phone and we never want that one to fail. So we'll get interface E1 slash 1 slash 13. And from here we can set the power priority. So that's done with the inline power priority command. And these are our options. It's a decimal value of one to three, where one is the highest priority and three is the lowest priority. So we could set it to a one, but we'll just go ahead and set it to a power to a, a setting of two right now. And this port has now been modified. So if we run the show inline power command again, we see that all these other ports are still a priority of three, but this one being a priority of two would maintain power in the event that we didn't have enough power to power everything that's connected to the Ethernet ports. So that's the fundamentals of power over Ethernet or PoE on our ICX switch. Thank you for viewing this demonstration. Hope you come back for more demonstrations in the future. Thank you.